All right, so you did your remote, you uh, installed a longer uh, SSD drive on your Jumper EasyBook Pro 3. Uh, and now you wanna test the new drive. You wanna see what kind of speeds you gained from that modification. Um, I'm sure many of you will find yourself surprised just like I did. Um, and there's a lot of users that actually reported that issue. Um, once you install the new drive, you will immediately notice some um, inconsistencies. And let me open uh, the first screenshot and show you. So this is from the SSD drive test. Uh, you will see my drive, it's Intel, 180, 180 gigs. Um, and this is, you know, it shows the read speed, the write speed, but you will notice the 4K is super low, extremely low, the access time is low. Uh, inconsistent results, read speed is way too high, write is way too low. And it's um, it, it's kind of a, when you try to work around, it will work for a minute and then for a split second, the um, the whole system will seems like it's, you know, frozen. I think that's due to the access time probably. So the generic drivers that Lindo, uh, <laughs> Lindos, that Windows is uh, using once you install the drive, uh, are dated back in 2006, I think. So very, very low. It doesn't recognize new, newer drives or some specific drives. So you're gonna end up with slower speeds or incons inconsistencies. Luckily, with little search, uh, there's a website out there with uh, uh, one of the, the best mods that I've seen. As you can see, the win rate forum and Fernando uh, is one of the guys there that actually did this um, digital signature and newer driver for the um, uh, for the SSD, for the acceptance of uh, the drives, AHCIs uh, and RAID drivers. So you can go here. I'm actually gonna post the direct link to this uh, uh, thread in the description of the video or over, over the video somehow. So you guys can directly go there and uh, get his drivers and install them and uh, fix your problem. So once I went ahead and installed these on my um, Jumper EasyBook Pro 3, the results were much different. So if I pull the other screenshot now, you will see they're much more consistent. Read and write speeds are about uh, what I can expect from SATA 2. Unfortunately, uh, many of us discovered that SATA 3, uh, it's a little bit bunged down to the speeds and it's more like a SATA 2 speeds. But you will see the 4K, Read and write speeds are much better. The access time, it's about the half of uh, the one before. Um, and overall, the total score is much higher, you know, 482 compared to, uh, what was the old one? Let me see, 800, uh, 184. So you'll see uh, the number of, the numbers here. You can actually pause it and compare it. And here is the, uh, after the new driver uh, with the mod. And that's the old one again. So, much, much snappier, a lot faster drive, uh, definitely more consistent, no freezes, nothing at all. It's extremely fast. And again, uh, huge thank you to Fernando of uh, WinRaid Forums uh, for this wonderful work and digitally signing these new drivers. Uh, now, when you go to your device manager, you will notice that the driver is a lot, lot newer. Let me see if I can pull that down and show you. So, uh, was it here? Let me see real quick. All right, the driver. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, okay, 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 right here, right here. Sorry about the delay. So we go to the e, uh, IDE, ATA and ATAPI. Uh, controllers and drivers if you go to the details the driver details you will notice that the driver is from February uh, 22nd of 2017 so this is the modded uh, driver by Fernando digital uh, signer as you can see win raid and this is the version of the driver uh, a lot a lot better a lot faster and definitely a lot helpful uh, to get this uh, maximum speed possible from your new drive so that's pretty much it guys, again, uh, I think, still believe that the Jumper EasyBook 3 Pro is one of the best buys you can get for a portable 
uh, easy to move around, longer lasting battery uh, device for light productivity, obviously browsing the internet, watching some videos, doing some office work. Uh, it will last you for a long, long time, seven, eight, nine hours, depending on your usage. Uh, great IPS 1080p 13.3 inch screen. Uh, and now with a faster drive, uh, you get a lot, lot better speeds. Uh, the only negative, and I was not expecting a, a better quality, uh, to be honest, but as you can see, the space bar is a little bit shiny on one side and some of the, the buttons are like that from you know, all the usage in the last six, seven months. So you expect uh, this um, coating, this plastic um, to kind of wear off a little bit. It's not the best uh, in quality, but again, I've seen that from Dell and other much more respectable or bigger companies as well. So that's the only thing uh, that it's kind of a negative. All the rest, I think it's a huge positive. I'm extremely happy with this purchase, you know, especially for $220. I don't think uh, you can beat that deal with uh, what this computer is offering. So that's pretty much guys for now, uh, stay tuned to the channel, there will be a lot more coming, I have a tons of uh, new uh, tech gadgets to review, tablets, cameras, whatnot. Uh, so you will see plenty of new things coming in, uh, and that's it for now, you guys have a wonderful day as always, and until next time, bye.